Zerg. So the matchup is Terran versus Zerg again. And the map is Cloud Kingdom. And in the top right hand corner, we have the orange Zerg, the new opponent. It is SGV Split. And spawning as his opponent once again, the red Terran, the color of death and destruction. It is OG Cantro. The color of anger and aggression. You know that I think that if your car is red, you get higher insurance just because they're more likely to get into accidents? Well, my color is like hot pink. I don't know what the insurance rates are on hot pink. But uh, yeah, insurance people making money, making the money. This Overlord happily floating slowly across the map, and oh. he will eventually get to the front ramp of Cantro and notice that it is a standard uh, uh, supply depot wall, possibly with a barracks upcoming. Three drones at a time, four mm -hmm. split, getting his economy, no crazy six pool, no crazy cheese coming up from either player as we see it just now. For sure. Chat, who do you think is going to win? Why don't you type your predictions into the chat right now? We based see some purely on their names. No, based purely on their races. It seems we have a couple of Zerg supporters. Arkesh 12 supports his Terran brothers. But we shall see. OG Kencho, you know, we saw from the previous game a lot of aggressive play coming from him. Some really new play bringing in those new HOTS units. Uh, Split, we'll have to see what sort of play does he is he going to bring in. Is he going to be changing this meta? Is he going to show us some amazing new strategies? And we can see right now, Hatchery going down at 15. Very standard Zerg. This is actually one of the most interesting matchups I feel in the new HOTS meta simply because this is these are some of the things I've heard from people and, and chat please chime in with what you believe as well but this is what some people were saying one of the the hardest times for Zerg to deal with Terran is at the early point of the game like the first 10 minutes of the game are the most volatile if you lose your drones it really might set up the rest of the game it really could be an issue now Terran all the new units come within the first 10 minutes all the new units for Zerg come after the first 10 minutes. So they haven't at all changed anything in that front matchup except to say, well, we're going to give Terran a little more potency at the early part. So it's a really interesting dynamic there. Another thing is a lot of the pro players that I speak with say that um, Zerg is just garbage in a hard, heartless swarm. They are absolutely not happy. Uh, I've heard this come out of uh, Tubby the Fat. I've heard this come out of uh, Hendrilis. We do see a bunker attempt at the front base of Split Split wisely pulling all of his drones quickly. The, the deny with probably uh, like one mineral left on that uh, bunker just in time to get the mineral recouped. I have to say though, pretty pretty good little pressure there when you think about it because, you know, he's not mining with those workers. He has to destroy that bunker, he can't let it get up. But really, those were five workers that weren't doing anything. And now we can see the Reaper arriving at the four minute 20 mark so much faster because you don't need a tech lab. And look how many attacks oh. it takes for this unit to actually uh, for the Reaper to actually kill a, a light unit. It took six hits for it to actually destroy it. Only does now, eight damage per hit now. Now trying to attack this building spine Doesn't crawler. have those grenades it's anymore. not going to be enough, but he knows that his, uh, he just needs to make this useful. But he also has to be careful not to use this unit, even if he lose this unit. Even if he doesn't do the damage he wanted to do, he just needs to keep it for map presence. Think for the second Reaper to show up. We'll have to get this Reaper to safety so that it can start healing. Is going to take out these uh, links and oh, is he going to actually sacrifice these units by putting them behind? the base this queen is going to try to come out and attack it no it's not fast enough these reapers will live to fight another day exactly and reapers you know they do have those new combat drugs right there and you know they're not taking damage about five seconds kind of the same thing as a stalker or any product unit shield regeneration they start regenerating health as fast as uh oh wow see Did the rage see on that spine crawler that reaper trying to jump up the ledge and getting see the physics the there face. Yeah, that was actually really cool. Like that's blew up and flew very up. Very visceral. So this Reaper uh, that does survive will be able to heal along with this comrade up at the front. So now only two Reapers on the field, what should have been three, transitioning uh, as he would into the next stage is Cantro. Looks like he's going for factory. Play. This is interesting. A three CC play. Very greedy of Cantro over here, and uh, you know. Going for that 3cc, if he's able to keep the Zerg so busy and occupied with these Reapers, he's going to be so much uh, really far ahead. 
Mm -hmm. And these Reapers doing exactly what they need to do. Even if they aren't doing damage, they're keeping his opponent on toe, on his tippy toes, and also giving him that map control. I mean, basically, the Zerg doesn't really want to move out with this menacing uh, Reaper harass in the back. He always feels like either I can just, maybe if I do a little more, I can attack and kill these guys. Uh, at the same time, he's also thinking, I can't leave because I don't want to lose any drones. That's one more Reaper is going to run back and is going to go Oh safety. my goodness, and these Reapers just don't die. Look at them regenerate that health, taking oh, so those drugs. Annoying. So annoying. They glow when they take the drugs. So many drugs. This would be great for a rave party. <laughs> That's what's going on in their suits right now. Uh, a bunch of overlords are strategically positioned around the base of Cantro, so uh, good job by Split to make sure he can see anything around the area, making these catches any sort of drops. Reapers coming in once again at full health, and this is the power of those drugs, making Reapers a viable unit again in this matchup. Coming up to the front scene, a bunch of links and saying, I like to attack you guys. This spine crawler is moving up a little closer to the front, making the wall a little bit more, um, a little bit more dangerous, a little bit more potent against these reapers. And with that extra CC up, you can see that um, Terran actually will soon enough be able to pull ahead in working count, catching up to the Zerg right now. Oh, 30, 30, 28. Oh and oh my goodness, there we go, classic Kentro. Even though I've only seen one game of him, he is going for those this little is classic Kentro. So he always this does this, before, you know. And it was actually just an hour ago. Uh, uh, yes, Cantro like is uh, building those Widow Mines. Actually put him at very strategic positions, chokes like the ramps uh, to his natural and to his main. Uh, some Lings now feeling comfortable to move out, probably haven't seen any Reapers in a while and said, well, I'm going to go check out what's out here. These Reapers are on the Zelnaga Tower. They do notice it. They do attack. Are they going to get surrounded? They need to move to get out of there. No one Reaper goes down cheaply, and the second one goes down as well. Cantro, unfortunately, using those Reapers that were giving him some beautiful map controlling and coverage. A sigh of relief escaped the Zerg in his mouth. They took out the Reapers, they would bother their base no more. Wow. Poetic song. This, these lings are going to come up. They're going to meet the Widow Mind. Are they going to get one shotted down to death? No, they decide to go back to the Zonaga Tower. No, only one ling goes back to the Zonaga Tower. The rest of these are going to have a very bad time. Oh, two lings were sufficiently far enough from their friends to only see them perish in battle while they themselves flee to victory. Uh, and now, these Three Hellions, easily seen by the Zelnog Tower, running across the map. Pantro is going to be putting on some aggression, getting the Blue Flame uh, upgrade on the way. And Split isn't actually producing any units to deal with this. Mm -hmm. Well, he is having those roaches four Roaches now, coming roaches. out, which are going to be already three here. So that makes a grand total of seven Roaches. He is going to chase the Hellion away. Hell is not going to do any. Actually, that's quite a lot of damage to the Roaches. Feels like it, huh? Wow. Did and they? even the, the Hellion's taking a lot of damage. One Hellion huh. did get destroyed, another one brought down into the red. Blue Flame is almost halfway done. A few um, turrets were built also in the base of Cantro. That's probably just a, a blind counter to what could be Muta's. Uh, although now that he's seen the Roaches, he can expect that some of that gas is not going into Muta's anymore. And now even going for the Hydralisk. So, uh, interesting choice uh, coming out of, Can of uh, Split. I just, you know, they do do great DPS against the Terran army, especially if you can get them behind a wall of roaches. And with that new uh, speed buff coming from uh, Harless Storm, actually improves the Hydra speed when off creep to 2.85, actually. And that would be the Hydra speed. Oh, there it is. Muscular um, augmentation. And actually, what I've seen some of the pro players do is they actually use Hydra and Swarm Host compositions. The Swarm Host obviously keeping at bay most of what would be a land army, and the Hydra is actually defending against air. I'm not saying that that's what he, or that's what Split is playing here, but it does look like he might be setting himself up for that in the later game. So yeah, you know, with that upgrade, the Hydra's actually move faster than Roaches. Uh, well, no, about about the same speed as Roaches off creep. So that's going to be very good to keep the army together before, you know, you have to protect your Hydra list, uh, especially since they move so slow and, and they can't really retreat. You try to retrieve Hydras, means your Hydras are dead. So this will uh, allow Split to create a very robust army. The heavy armored uh, uh, roaches in the front, the fast attacking, DPSing, a Hydra list in the back, but at the same time, oh, beautiful play by Split. This, this is a quite a bit of awareness to know um, that this uh, th this widow mine was here and this oh. widow mine was defending. He doesn't want to bring his entire group. Just brought one roach, and this is exactly why he did it. He survives the one hit, goes back, and can live another day. Oh, but and now all he needs to burrow it, which is exactly the upgrade he's getting. So many uh, things right there. We see Oji Kentro has vision right now, Additional and he does do a scan. He sees the army right here for Split and knows that it's sitting outside his base. Widow mine's getting in oh. position onto the rest. See how Split waited until the the. Waited right to the moment that the scan ended before he started to move. They are going to come up here. They will find another Widow Mine, and unbeknownst to him, actually does have the presence of mind to stop. Send one Roach forward. This is exactly how you got to play this matchup now. And now the rest of his units go in to attack it. Quickly it goes down. There's not going to be much here to defend, and Kandro knows it. He quickly lifts up, his, uh, lifts up his CC, and the turrets are enough to 
deter any more aggression calls. Now Blue Flame Hellions oh. at the base of Split. They might get a nice lineup on these drones. No, three drones sacrificed their lives for the swarm. And these Hellions are going to go down very quickly to these Hydralists. Oh, retreat. I mean, not a retreat, but an attack coming from Split now. Actually, no, that is a retreat. Sorry, I got confused with the colors here. Groove Spines being researched for our Hydralists, meaning that they will have that extra range to be able to shoot from behind their Roach Brethren. Now the SC, uh, not the SCDs, but the workers are going to go back to five. We see a Hellion Ooh. drop in the main base, getting a couple of drone kills here and there, and doing a great job over screen now coming for no apparent reason. Just actually want to make sure there's no Widow Mine uh, going to be there. And look at that booster, Medivac going to be running out and dropping oh, now at the man. third. Hellions lighting up the drones. Oh my gosh, the drones are going to get stuck. No, they won't. The roaches are going to save them. And going back onto the top, this Terran player. Oh, but the Hydralists were there to meet them, doing epic damage against those Hellions, even though Hydralists are uh, light units and uh, and Hellions do extra damage to light units. It matters not because the damage those Hydralists do is uh, great enough. And this is sizing up to be an Look amazing battle. It looks like these Hydralists are going to take the counterattack straight to the base of Split. On the back end of this, he is getting his infesti infestation pit, so he will have a transition out of this. Um, and now the tanks are out as well. Will he siege in time to attack? It would be beautiful if he gets the siege up and these units are all clumped up. And yes, the siege tanks do some heavy damage to this ball. Take out a few units for their trouble. So beautiful positioning by Cantro. Just the right time to have that tech there. And we can see the scan, you know, showing that the army has retreated. The, he the siege tanks right now don't require research anymore. They are able to siege up right uh, fresh out of the factory. So that's very important for the Terran there. Uh, could do some really aggressive expand plays if they are going to be doing some sort of siege tank play here. So we see the army sitting outside, but this is good for Split. He has the Terran uh, occupied at his third base and grabbing his fourth. Now, and this oh. is um, this is actually a composition for the Terran that I find uh, Root Massa was definitely uh, uh, using to great effect in TBZ, getting the Battle Hellions to tank in the front and also to just eviscerate any um, lings that come in uh, close to the army, and then having the siege tanks in the back to do steady. AOE damage. Now these Hellions moving out, transformed from battle mode into Hellion mode just so that they can come forward and attack very quickly. Do get rid of a spine crawler, gonna do a lot of damage to these roaches. Roaches actually splitting nicely. Oh no, now they're going right through the acid of these roaches. These roaches are encroaching on these Hellions. The Hellions are now being thrown away cheaply. They would have been much better in the army as battle Hellions rather than to be thrown away just for a couple drone kills. Exactly. We look at drone kills though. Twelve, only twelve drones actually kill for Kentro. Servers of workers still up at seventy-three. Army. That is a huge third army moving towards Terran base. Look Zerg at is still supply huge. difference. It's absolutely immense for our Zerg player, and now he knows he has the uh, aggressive <laughs> advantage. One Roach getting massively destroyed. These tanks are being caught in a very bad position. A couple tanks on the high ground. Does still have Widow Mines up here? And the rest of these tanks are defending, not bothering to siege. They need to do damage. They need to do it right now. These units deciding to push forward are going to bust this area. Will he lose too much? He only lost a little bit of supply, and now there's not much left for Cancer to defend. He does only have one siege tank here, and it's not enough. It's going to get absolutely destroyed by this Zerg army. Now there's very little to defend the base of Cancer, and already max supply for Split. Oh my goodness. He's just pushing and pushing out. And he's trade armies in the Zerg. Siege tanks on top, trying to do damage. He needs to lift up that. That was Spidey, but, but no. The Spidey does not go down. The Zerg army is inside. SP is pulling to attack the Roaches, but they're just getting taken out. And the Roaches now doing a great damage onto the Terran uh, base over here. It looks like Kanjo has the GG.